Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we will create React component. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to create React element and also learn nested elements. Now, when you have nested React element, you will stumble with the next React problem. When you create nested element, you will find there are lots of element you need to create. And what if you wanted to create the same element in other page? Then you will need to create the same code again. And as you know, repetition is not good in programming. To solve this problem, we have a React component class. Or you can just say React component. React component help us to rescue elements multiple times. Now, let's take an example to understand why we need to create a React component class. Suppose you have a React element paragraph. You need to use this paragraph in 10 different files or you can say 10 different projects. The way you can do that, you will put the same code in 10 different files. This method will increase the size of your application as well as it will reduce the performance of your application and repeat the code. To solve this problem, we have a React component class. Using the React component class, you can extend the same class over and over and use the same element in many projects. Interestingly, you can use extend keyword to extend React component class and create your child and parent relation with the React component class. So your class would be child class extended from the parent React component class. The one mandatory thing you must implement for this new class is the render method. This method must return a single React element, which is created from another custom component class or an HTML tag. Both can have nested elements. Now, let's see if you wanted to create a React element of hello words. To create a React element, you need to write more code than using the React component class. Now, let's see how to use a React component class to create two React elements. So here, I have an index.html file. I already linked two packages, React and React DOM. In this file, we had created a division tag in the body section and specified ID container. Just after the React package has been loaded, we will create a script tag and put some pure React code. So here, I will just create a pure React code and create an element. So I will just say let h1 is equal to and call the react.createElement method. So I will just say react.createElement and in the parenthesis, I will create h1 heading level element, specify comma, specify null because I don't want to specify any property and then specify inner HTML text. So I will just say hello world here. Just after that, I just wanted to create a React component class. You can take this code as a React component, right? So I will just say class, my class. You can specify any name to your class, extends react.component. Keep in mind, when you're creating your own component, you need to extend the React component class, right? Just after that, here, in this class, the mandatory thing you need to do is to use render method. This render method work like a return keyword used in the function, but it's just different from the return keyword. This method return the element to the class. So this render method will render the component in the UI, right? And we also use the return keyword to return the component to the render method, right? So I will just say render and in this method, I will just say return react.createElement and in the parenthesis, I will just specify division tag. I will just create a division tag here and just specify null property to this division tag and add child elements. So here, I will just use my h1 react element here. So I will just say h1, comma h1, comma h1. So here we wanted to create three h1 tags. So I will just specify three h1 elements here, right? Now, I just wanted to render this React component in the React DOM. So I will just say React DOM dot render. And in this method or the first argument, I will just create an element. So I will just say React dot create element. And in the parenthesis, I will first specify my class. So I will just say my class. So this is my React component and specify comma here and specify null. The null refers to the properties, right? 
just after that i just wanted to append this component in the division tag so i will just say document dot get element by id and in the parenthesis i will specify my id so i will just say container here right so when you execute this code you will get three react element on the document so the power of react is reusability it leads to faster development and fewer bugs components also have life cycle events states dome events and other features that let you make them interactive and self-contained in the next lecture we will work with the properties of the react element right i hope you understand this lecture if you have any question you can ask me in the comment answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture